Later, when we add more pages in our web application, we will have to add a link from one page to another. But using the hard-coded URL is usually a bad practice, because your client or boss may change his mind about particular URL structure and then you would have to rewrite those URLs at every single place you used it. Here comes Laravel with route naming. Simply give it a method name and the name you would like to use. Now when you are referencing to that URL use route name instead. As you can see, it's automatically building the URL for us. Let's see what happens when we use a route name on a route with parameters inside it. So let's say that this route have parameter called name. It's telling us that we are missing required parameters for that route. Let's get back to the code. So if that route have only one parameter, you can just pass it by typing comma and that particular parameter. But what if there are multiple parameters? In that case, we would have to add an array here. Now, this is actually a good example. You see that we are getting a main page for some reason. This is because Laravel thinks we are on the main page since these two parameters are dynamic. So if you want to get another page first, you just simply move that route before the other ones. 